वेलकम बैक टू एक्सचेंज मैनेजमेंट शेल एक्सचेंज मैनेजमेंट शेल रिक्वायर्स ए फंक्शनल एक्सचेंज सर्वर एंड इट ऑफर्स एन एक्सटेंसिबल स्क्रिप्टिंग इंजन एंड यूजेज ए रोल बेस्ड एक्सेस कंट्रोल परमिशन लेट्स गो टू अवर एक्सचेंज सर्वर एंड डू सम हैंड्स ऑन विद एक्सचेंज मैनेजमेंट शेल सो वी आर नाउ ऑन आवर एक्सचेंज सर्वर एंड लेट मी शो यू एक्टिव डायरेक्टरी फर्स्ट you can have a look on this active directory i have few ous here and i have created two users in each ou sales testing research help desk hr so you can have a look on the active directory only two users are created in each and every organizational unit so let's try to open exchange management shell you can open it from here and let's get started with the help command for each and every command you can get the help so get help set mailbox it will show you the help for this set mailbox command you can see the plenty of informations are there you can see the syntaxes all the syntaxes can be used with this set mailbox command and also we have remark like get help set mailbox for examples details full so let me do get help set mailbox with the examples it will show you with the examples so you can get the help from here you can see the example get user filter department equal to customer service set mailbox send message size 2 mb it will set the message size for this department for 2 mb these are the examples to let you know how you can use these commands if we again go to the active directory I have a test one user and test two. Right now, the mailbox is not assigned to this user. If you see the email address, it's empty. So let's try to assign a email to it. It's already a user inside our Active Directory. So in order to provide him a email address, we will have to run the following command like enable mailbox identity. identity means we have to type here the organization name that is techjack and test1 so it will enable a mailbox for user test1 let me hit enter and now you see the name test1 alias test1 server name is ex01 and unlimited prohibit send quota so now the mailbox has been assigned to the test1 user if we again check it with the active directory users and i'll go to the properties of test1 user and now you can see the email address is test1 at techijack.local so the email address has been assigned to this user so let's do some other commands as well let me clear the screen if we see the get mailbox database this command will show you the mailbox database the name of the database is mailbox database and the number is there lying on the exchange 01 and if we go to the servers you can see the database we have only a one database right now if you want to check the properties of the database you can just click on that edit sign and you will get the properties of database let me cancel it out so let's perform a another command we will create a new mailbox database and i will name it as db02 and on the server we have to give the server name that is ex01 and now you can see the db02 has been created on server 1 please restart the microsoft exchange information store service in on server exchange 1 after adding a new mailbox database so you have to restart this service after adding a new database so if i refresh it you can see that db02 has has been created and right now it is dismounted so let's again go to our exchange management shell now i am running the another command says get exchange server hyphen status and we will do fl it will show you the detailed view of your exchange server 
we have already looked on this command previously if I go to the recipients and the properties of test one user if I go and navigate to more option here we can see the mailbox database this test one user mailbox is lying inside this mailbox database so if we want to move this user to another database that is db01 so I'll perform another command to move the mailbox in a another database we have to type new move request identity the identity is test1 the user mailbox so the target database would be db02 so let's hit enter it gave you the error why it gave the error because we haven't restarted the exchange information stored service and neither the database is mounted so let me restart the service let me navigate to the Microsoft Exchange information store this is the service and let me restart it the service has been restarted so now we have to mount the database as well so let me mount it in a graphical way let's go to the server database is here the database is not mounted it's a, it's showing dismounted so let me mount it click on mount show you the warning are you sure you want to mount yes we are sure so now the database has been mounted let's go to the management shell once again and let's try to perform this command again so new move request identity test user target database is db02 so let's hit enter now the command has been initiated successfully it says the display name test1 waiting for job pickup the size is 60.78 kb so it's started moving the database from previous one to new one so if I go to the recipient and the test one user properties earlier it was lying in a default database now you can see the database is db02 let me cancel it out now let's perform a get mailbox statistics for test1 user it will show you the statistics of test1 mailbox item count 29 storage limit status last log on time let me try to create a new user because if you already have a user on active directory you can enable but what if you don't have a user in inside your active directory do you want to create a new user as well and assign a mailbox for that so you have to run this command like new mailbox first name test tree display name test tree name test tree and the user principal name the user principal name should be with domain name like suffix should be there like test tree at techiecheck.local and it's showing a warning for it's prompting for the password so we have to put a password and let me put the password and hit enter so now it says the new test 3 user has been created on exchange 01 let me go to my active directory so we haven't given the organization unit so it will be inside the users so let me check with the users so you can see the test is here so let me try to move it or move it to testing so now we have completed some hands-on with our exchange management shell so by completing this we have completed module 1 and let's now prepare for the module 2 in our next lesson so let's meet in a module 2